Well, we're joined again this morning by OSU Extension Entomologist Tom Royer. And Tom, you're going to show us some of the techniques for insect collection that you use here at Oklahoma State. Exactly. I've got a, a bunch of different things that we use. Uh, this is really what makes entomology fun, a lot of the th techniques that we have here to sample insects. But we do have a purpose for them. Uh, what we're trying to do when we use a lot of these sampling methods is collect data uh, in a precise way so that we can um, turn it into something that a, a producer or a field person can use to simply go out and make a decision in their field. A lot of times we have to take a lot of data over years, be very precise about what we want to do with the sampling, but then we want to turn it in, like I said, something that is easy for a grower to go out and make a decision in the field. So that's the purpose for doing all this, as well as it being fun. Right. So, so some of these methods may not be for a producer necessarily to use. Some of them we probably gonna... wouldn't have a producer using. We want to make sure that we try and keep things as simple as possible when right. we're out sampling in the fields. Right. Okay. Okay. Great. Well, why don't you go ahead and show us the first one? All right. One of these is uh, this is a uh, this is something that you know kind of a stereotype of entomologists. We were running around with a, with a sweet the net all net. the time, the bug net, uh -huh. but, but we use this quite a bit. Um, this is what we use to, uh, uh, in a, say an alfalfa field or any number of fields when we want to collect insects that are on foliage. We, we take sweeps back and forth and we usually take counts and do a specific uh, figure eight method of doing this. Okay. Um, and, and then we uh, quickly, if once we get practice, we can flip it over and and and, and uh, we quickly go through and, and look at what we have in there and take counts. Or we'll oftentimes just take the whole mess, uh, put it in a plastic bag, and take it back to the freeze it, take it back to the lab and, lab and count it later. Okay. But uh, one of the things that's really important is using technique, and it's something that we have to train our students to do, right. or uh, when we demonstrate uh, sweep. A sweep technique to producers. There's a whole uh, lot of difference between sampling right. like this versus sampling like this and getting down there. Got to do and, it and if you want to have a consistent um, count, you have to have a consistent way of taking these counts. So technique will really affect. Technique that. is important. Sure. Okay. What's our next? This one? is a high tech system here. These are um, these are traps that uh, are lined with a sticky bottom a lot of times. And we use these, uh, uh, we bait them with an attractant a lot of times, uh, and insects are attracted in there, and we use this as a detection system. The, the high-tech part of it is that we have to figure out what attracts the insects. So there's a lot of uh, insect physiologists that have taken these uh, small molecules and figured out by hooking up antennae of these insects to figure out what they're, what they're reacting to, and, and uh, we have to do a lot of uh, uh, we have to do a lot of research to be able to determine what we can use them. But these are great because we can use these as a detection tool to find out when insects are active okay. a lot of times. So okay, great. pretty cool. We've got a nice simple bucket here. How do you use that? We use this shake bucket. We're, we use this in a lot of crops in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. uh, when we had that canola, when we have a canola field or sorghum uh, field with heads, a lot of times we have to to take those plants and beat them into the bucket so we can take a count uh, sure. in, in it. This is something that uh, we use. Um, this is a leaf blower, but we turn it on its end so that it's not blowing the leaves. It's actually, uh, well, this is also, that's used to chop up the leaves, but mm -hmm. we put a, a knee-high hose on the end of it, and then we can go out in the field and, and run this thing and take absolute samples out here Okay. Uh, by you know walking along here and sucking all the insects up, and uh, and then when we're done, uh, pull it off. That acts kind of as a net to. Acts to catch as a them. net. We've got them right there. Can turn it off and move to the next spot. I've got a graduate student that's up in the salt plains, sampling uh, uh, salt cedar. She's been doing it for a year every week wow. using this uh, this method right here. So it works really well. As, well, it's a, we just call this kind of a suction technique. Okay. Well, great. Well, some really, some really nice different techniques. Hopefully, you're really uh, getting some good information for your research and, and great information today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.